Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how um, to create an animating gradient background, like what you're looking at now. So this one's actually pretty subtle. It's for a website that I've built for a client. But if you look at it, you can see the subtlety. It's moving up and down. The gradient's like flowing. This one in particular gives a little bit of an um, relaxing, soothing, and like trustworthy feeling. Uh, so this is kind of the one we're going to be recreating. Obviously, though, we're going to um, try with some different colors. We'll play about with the speed. We can change everything from start to finish in this tutorial. So let's just get into it straight away. So I've started off with a blank HTML skeleton, uh, and I've added a style sheet, which just links to a blank style sheet that I've created. Uh, and my folder structure looks a little bit like this. It's just gradient and then index.html, CSS file with uh, style.css inside. And then we've got blank body tags uh, with nothing in it yet. This is what the page looks like so far, just completely blank. Um, so the first thing we need to do is create the actual box that our gradient is going to be inside of. So my case is going to be that uh, it's a full background gradient, like you can see here, it takes up the entire page. But you can do it if you just wanted uh, the, the top of a website or if you wanted a certain section, you can style that however you want. But for me, I'm going to create a div and give it the class of background in this case. Close it off, copy and paste this into uh, our uh, style sheet. And I'm going to say width. 100% viewport width height, 100% of the viewport height, which basically just sets it to 100% of whatever device is viewing the website. Um, so if I set the background color to red and set the display to block so that it takes up the entire screen and we take a look, you can just see here just a completely red background. Uh, obviously we can see here around the outside that there's some white spacing so I can quickly at the top add some styles to everything, which is what the asterisk is. Um, apply these styles to everything on the page. So I can say margin zero, padding zero, list style none, and text decoration none. So if you've seen any of my other videos, I recommend highly that you put this at the top of every single uh, website you build. It just means that there is no preset or predetermined styles. And when we refresh, you can see now it takes up the whole screen and there's no scroll wheels at the side or at the bottom anymore. Uh, okay, so that's a good start, but it looks obviously pretty ugly. Uh, what we're going to do is we can delete background color red and I'm going to create a gradient and the way you do this is you just say background and then linear gradient and then uh, open up some brackets and then for me I'm going to say 180 degrees and then comma and then I'm going to set the top color and then the bottom color so in the gradient because mine is a um, vertical gradient not a horizontal gradient you can obviously change the degrees and make yours a horizontal gradient but our case is going to be top to bottom colors so the first color is going to be ce 003b and then the bottom color is going to be 2e4bc6 sorry just copying them down from another page and then if we take a look at it quickly we get this so you know pretty similar to this and uh, yeah it looks pretty good in my opinion obviously you can change the colors just by changing the hex code uh, so that's our background so i'm going to also say background size uh, 400 and then the percent and 400 percent and the reason i'm doing this is because we're going to animate um, our background so by, by making the background size 400, uh, well, four times bigger than it should be, we're giving it some height and width to play with that is currently off the screen, but we can animate it onto the screen and make it look like the gradient's flowing up and down. Uh, this will start to make more sense as we progress. And now, okay, now that we've done that, I'm going to say, uh, add an animation. I'm going to call it gradient fade. You can call it whatever you want. 12 seconds is what I'm going to set it to. And it's going to be ease animation type and infinite which means a uh, gradient fade is the name of the um, animation we're going to create. 12 seconds is the duration from start to finish. It will ease uh, through the keyframes and it will loop infinitely. So when I get to the end of the 12 seconds, it will go back to the first frame and then and so on and so on, basically. We have to now make this animation now. So what I'm going to do is say at keyframes, which might be new to some of you, and you can look this up exactly how CSS animations work, but they're pretty cool. You can play with and animate almost everything that we've typed up here we can we can animate almost every single one of these values uh, so we're going to say keyframes gradient fade which is obviously the name of our animation up here and then if i open up some curly brackets zero percent and now go inside this this means that at zero percent so when we're zero percent of the way through our animation which is obviously the very start i want the background position to be 47 percent and zero percent um, and there's a reason for this. If you look at uh, W3School's definition, you can see the first value is our X value, which is our horizontal value. And then the second is our Y value, which is our vertical value up and down. So because we've made our background size 400%, we can now move from left to right, drag that into view, 
and that will um, give the illusion that it's animating when in actual fact it's just a large image and more and more of it's being shown to you, if that makes sense. Uh, again, hopefully this should make more sense when we get to look at it. So halfway through at 50%, I'm gonna say background position is now should now be at 54% still and then 100% so that now we're at the complete other end. So the reason I've changed 47 to 54 is that it will slowly move left to right a tiny bit. And also uh, the reason I've changed zero to 100 is because the vertical value, it will drag the background upwards into view. This is what we get. So hopefully you can notice that. Uh, and when we get to the end of the animation after 12 seconds, we should get a really ugly cutting thing as it goes back to the initial color, which I'm waiting for now. Nice, okay. So now I'm gonna set the finished animation by saying 100%, background, position, and then I'm gonna say back to 47%, back to 0%. So that just means it's gonna loop, loop around. Uh, so if I set this to five seconds, for example, so you can just see how, you know, what that looks like really, really quickly. If the background and it's fading in and out, gives the illusion that it's fading really nicely. And then you can set this to, you know, one second if you wanna scare your neighbors to thinking the police are outside, or, you can set it to 12 seconds, like what I've done, and you know get a really nice, gradual, subtle animation uh, with the gradient fading in and out in the background, really subtle. And then obviously you can add some other elements around it, like I've added these arrows here uh, and a header and stuff like that, integrated it into a part of an actual website. But you know this is the basis of what could be a really nice landing page, or if you just needed to animate the gradient for anything in your development life, uh, this is how I'd go about doing it. You don't need any JavaScript or jQuery, contrary to popular belief. This could be done with just not even that much CSS, which is, you know, 29 lines of CSS and basically one line of HTML. Uh, so that's basically how I'd go about anim animating background gradients. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a like if you do and subscribe. I've just got 4,000 subscribers, which I'm really thankful for. Thank you to everyone who's watching this now who's subscribed. Um, and I hope to see you back here on this channel again for the next video.